If I considered eBay to be my home planet, then these guys just might be my kryptonite. Now I wouldn't say that I'm obsessed with the Matchbox K16 Ford Articulated Tanker, but this will be number six in a growing line of custom K16s. The red Texaco version is pretty common, and this one has seen better days. I've done cruise lines, theme parks, and racing teams, so I'd like to try something a little different. Five bucks for the model, and eight for shipping is pretty cheap these days. This one is only missing the hoses, but is otherwise complete. At first, I was only adding decals to well-preserved models that had missing or damaged stickers. Lately though, I've been taking these apart to repaint them completely in colors that Matchbox never offered. So earlier I said that I wanted to do something different. Well, how about lime green for something different? I saw this color at Menards on their paint shelf, and I thought it was pretty cool. And then I saw this sort of turquoise color, and the two looked really good together, and it made me think of a certain favorite cartoon show from when I was a kid. There was an unfortunate accident with a drill bit breaking off in the post as I tried to drill the blue base. So from the parts bin I found this pretty stock silver one, which looks good too with the lime green paint, just maybe not as good as I had hoped the turquoise would, but I'm happy with it. The trailer has been repainted and reassembled, and now it's time to think about fresh decals. Over the years, Matchbox has decorated many of its models with themes from Scooby-Doo. Some worked out better than others, but I have yet to see one decorated for Scooby-Doo in a Super Kings or a Speed Kings larger type model. And I think it's about time for that to change. After the decals have been printed and given a little bit of time to dry, I spray them with a clear sealer and let that dry for a while, and then maybe the next day I cut out the decals and begin to place them on the actual model. The white hoses were donated generously by an earlier unrestored Matchbox K16. They look good with the contrasting black stripe and the white top and the green. I think it all combines to make a really nice looking semi truck. I hope you like it and it might be the last K16 I do for a while. There are other models from Matchbox that I'd like to customize check back every now and then and maybe you'll see some of those. Thanks for watching. Take care.